Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is on it. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a comparison of the serum Neutrogena foundation with serum and the Anastasia foundation. Um, this is the Luminous Foundation, and then this is, um, or, not Luminous. Serum. Yeah, Serum Foundation, like I said previously. No, I got the foundation number I have currently for the Anastasia is one hundred and. Pretty much whatever um, the lightest color you can get on the website slash um, in the brand I pretty much get because I'm a China doll. So I have China doll complexion. Then we have the Serum Foundation or the Neutrogena and it's lighter one is the current the current um color match is the current my current color this one is sixteen dollars so the uh, Anastasia is thirty eight dollars so this is thirty eight dollars this is um Sixteen dollars. Oh my god. Oh, oh. So this is a pump style. Here, let me open this so you guys can see the dim. Okay, pump style. Um, you pump it out, and then that one is an eyedropper, which is not very um special needs for me. I'm just gonna say it. Um, either one is not social needs friendly. Yeah. And this is a glass bottle. We don't do glass with special needs. Because we could easily break it or drop it like you guys just saw. Um, yeah, this is more, you can get that at any like Walmart. Kind of like drugstore. And you guys will see me actually trying these on for the um in the video and yeah I'm trying these on. The Neutrogena foundation is more liquidy because of the serum aspect of it, but it also felt like it was my skin and not, not, something was not on it. So, in that aspect, it's better for everyday wear, um, but, do what you will. Also, it was very hydrating on my skin, and that is always a good thing for me because I have very dry skin. Okay, we have the Anastasia Luminous Foundation here, and the thing that I found with this foundation was, um, it was more, it was thicker, so it had more of a 
um, you could feel it um, more on your skin, more coverage. But my only tip would be to take less of that because um, you don't. Know, it goes very far with uh, with applying it. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. Um many hours later this is Anastasia. This is um Neutrogena on this side. So far we like this. Yes, it is midnight. So this is the my, my messing up with the oh uh, hold on messing up the logo. Okay, you can keep that part. This is the Tarte foundation stick. Color is what is the color? What is the color? The color is. Can you read that? I can't read it. It's too small. Fair neutral. Okay, it just says fair neutral apparently. <laughs> um, but I liked this stick as far as I was able to be fully independent. Um, as applying for applying it, but it ended up looking cakey on me. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. The packaging is very slick. It's like a lipstick. Okay, whatever. Um, come on. No, I'll have that on you because that way you guys can see. It's like a lipstick and um, formula and. You can either use a beauty blender or a foundation stick, but this might work for you. I'll try to link it down below, and then you just do the opposite. Um, here you can just first, and then you put it on. You see, I like the packaging. Like that. It's very good for travel too. Which I do miss this as far as independence goes. The one I like the most is the Anastasia because I feel like it had more coverage. And the bottle is I like this bottle better because it looks like Okay, let um, me Cut to what I like better about So I liked the fact that the Neutrogena had serum in it and it felt like nothing was on your skin. Like literally it just felt like your skin. But with the Neutro not the Neutrogena the the Anastasia I feel like my skin is textured. It's not textured, but I I don't like. To me, it feels bumpy. Even though it's not, but whatever. Um. But this is more coverage. What we ended up doing, and what we still do to this day, is mixing the two. Because this way I get this here, but the coverage of um, the coverage of this one as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and help. Uh, home. Hopefully, you found this um helpful. Let me know if you have any other makeup suggestions or any other video suggestions. 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Remember to keep on on. Okay, bye with my two foundations. <laughs>